Right, well, Fred's going to be 21 in a couple of weeks' time, and we had him since he was a baby. He was only um, 12 weeks old when we got him from a breeder. He's an African grey, but he's not perfect because I think we actually got him two or three weeks too early. He should have been left with his parents for a little bit longer um, because he couldn't quite eat seed by himself. And he latched on to my husband. He got uh, very bonded to him very quickly. And if he'd been a bit older, he wouldn't have done it in quite the same way. But then we were very inexperienced and we didn't know a lot about parrots. He, he's a very companionable bird. He's, this one is very, very gentle. He's very playful. He's got a wicked sense of humour. And you wouldn't think a bird could have a sense of humour, but he's definitely got one. He will creep up behind the other parrot and pull her tail and then he'll fly away. And he used to do the same sort of thing to my husband when he was alive. He would creep up behind him around the floor, just give the back of his ankle just a little nip, nothing to hurt, just to startle. And the next thing you know, he was sitting on the back of the chair gazing out of the window. Uh, so he's obviously got a good sense of humour. He got really upset when George was ill because he was really bonded to George. He wasn't bonded to me at all. Um, and when George was ill, he started pulling his feathers out. He started what's called feather plucking. And he's never really got over that. It's much better than it was, but he's taken off all his top feathers around his neck and under his chest. He's not stupid because he's left all the feathers on his wing. So he's taken all the feathers from his chest, but he's left his wing feathers so he can still fly. Um, some parrots get very stressed and literally pull all the feathers off so that they can't fly at all and they can be quite, quite pink and naked, but he stopped halfway. After George died, he became very depressed and he got to the point where he wasn't playing and he wouldn't get out of his cage and he wasn't eating very much, so I took him to the vet. And in the end, we decided to give him um, a tranquilizer. So he was on drops for about six weeks, and I gradually increased the dose and then gradually decreased it again. And that was enough just to jolt him out of it. But it still took him a good six months to become friendly with me. And now he's bonded to me. You're a lovely boy, aren't you? All right? Yeah? 